Welcome to Manchester, a bustling city in the north of England known for its manufacturing, architecture, culture and sports. This station, Manchester Piccadilly, has been in operation since 1842 and is the third busiest station in the UK outside of London. There's a missing route map over there. Fix it while you're here. There are more tasks to find. Be sure to apply the route maps, put up tourist posters, restock newspapers and refill the planters. Take a seat anywhere you like. When this station was opened in 1842 by the Manchester and Birmingham Railway, it was named Store Street and had two platforms, one for arrivals and another for departures. Shortly after, in 1847, an agreement with Sheffield, Ashton under Lyne and Manchester Railway allowed the Manchester and Birmingham Railway to use their nearby London Road premises. The station was then known as London Road. By the 1860s, the popularity of the route meant London Road Station was getting overcrowded and the competitive and fragmented nature of the railways at the time meant the relationship between the two companies had broken down. Eventually, they agreed to build a new, much larger London Road Station designed to be partitioned down the middle. The 1921 Railways Act grouped the 120 railway companies at the time into the Big Four, but the station continued to be divided, even after the railways were nationalised in 1948. In 1958, the then ageing London Road Station was completely rebuilt into and renamed to Piccadilly, after the nearby Piccadilly Road and Gardens. In 1998, it would undergo further extensive renovations at a cost of £100 million in preparation for the Commonwealth Games. At the time, this was the most expensive railway improvement project that the UK had seen. This train is a BR Class 323 electric multiple unit in Northern Trains livery. They were first built in 1992 and were some of the last trains to enter service under British Rail before privatisation in the mid-1990s. Climb aboard the Hyper Networker and embark on a journey in northwest England. Magnificent Mancunian scenery will come to life along the echoes of the fallen wood headline. Welcome to Trainsim World, Glossop Line, Manchester to Hadfield and Glossop. In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive a BR Class 323 electric multiple unit. During this brief introduction, you'll be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. For this introduction, you'll be completing a full loop of the circuit and performing passenger operations when you reach the next stop. Let's prepare the train for departure. To unlock the control desk, you will need to insert the master key. The reverser is used to determine the direction of travel. Set the headlights for normal operation. This will let others around you know that this train is operational. To begin loading passengers, you'll need to open the passenger doors.
It's time to depart. Close the passenger doors. To get the train moving, apply some power using the combined power brake handle. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force by moving the power handle into the braking range. These electric multiple units were first built in 1992 by Hunslet Transportation Projects and Holek. The class first entered active service in 1994 and were designed to operate around Birmingham and Manchester. The 323 class were amongst the last trains to enter service with British Rail before its privatisation in the mid-1990s. A total of 43 sets were built with construction ending in 1995. Today, all of the sets built still remain in operation with 26 being owned by West Midlands trains and 17 being operated by Northern trains. This class has a maximum power output of over 1500 kilowatts and has a top speed of 90 miles per hour. Approaching the station, let's prepare the train to slow down. Now that the train has stopped, you can open the passenger doors. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this locomotive.